was a hard one for me to do because because of my biases to a certain extent and um, and it depends on you and where you stand on all this but this is self-defense and I did one last time but I was like waffling on some things and I was presenting what my biases were um, on each one uh, this one I did a little bit more research so I wanted to really present something that uh, would have the pros and cons, uh, you know, and, and better solutions to if you're by yourself in a wheelchair because some of us are quads, uh, some of us have a weaker side than another, and a lot of us travel by ourselves. Um, I'm one of those who travels by myself, and I should, you know, be a little bit more cautious than I am, I guess. Um, but, but let's talk about the research I did, and I will present those links down below so you can look at them and make your own decisions because that's what this is about, making your own decisions and what you feel the safest. Um, I'm going to state my biases again so that you know wh where I stand, at least um, personally. And, but, but you can, you can um, make those decisions when, when the time comes, when you decide, yeah, I'm gonna get something to um, protect myself and to make sure that um, I can use it appropriately. So self-defense, you know, it could be for in the home it could be for outside. <coughs> it could be if you're in, you know, camping or something. Uh, there's so many circumstances in which self-defense might come into play at some point. So <coughs> hopefully never. <laughs> so far, I've been very lucky. Uh, nobody has really approached me or creeped me out or anything like that. <coughs> but, but it can happen to one of us. And more than one of us. <laughs> so, so here are the options that were placed in front of me. So one of them on the top of the list was a gun. Another one was a baton. Another one was a shorter baton. <laughs> Another one was techniques to, you know, untangle yourself from the attacker. Uh, another one was um, pepper spray in three different uh, three different types of pepper spray, which is you know the direct spray, then there's the fog, and then there was a gel type. Okay. Uh, then there was the personal alarm, and then they presented uh, a flashlight. Okay, so now here comes my biases with all those. <coughs> um, I think that the gun, the baton, the shorter baton, let's throw in there a knife. Um, all of those weapons um, could turn against you, could be taken away from you and used against you. So that's why I stand <laughs> For myself, I would not use a, a dangerous weapon. Uh, I would not use a dangerous weapon. So, so those I I tend for for myself. I would I screen them out. It's like no, I'm not going to use one of those. You know, the gun or the knife or the baton. You know, because I know I'm I'm weak enough that they would be taken away from me in a second. So um, I would not use any of those. Uh, pepper spray, it kind of rolled around in my mind. Uh, the pepper spray with gel uh, caught my attention because there's less danger in that blowing back into your face uh, than the gel. Uh, would I use it? I don't know, I, you know, because my tendency, I'm, I'm not a violent person. I don't want to hurt even the robber 
or the, you know, the person attacking me, I wouldn't even want to hurt them. <laughs> so <laughs> it's, it's just where I, my mentality is. So I, I don't, you know, maybe something will happen and I'll get really mad, but, <laughs> but even using Jill, um, if I were camping, you know, outdoors and there's an animal or whatever, you know, I might use uh, pepper spray or bear spray if it's a bear, um, you know, against an animal. But uh, for another human being, I don't think I would do that. <coughs> um, I don't think I would bring myself to do it. Let's put it that way. <laughs> so, and maybe not even against an animal. So I had to take out pepper spray for myself <laughs> completely. <laughs> Now, a personal alarm, yeah, I could do that. <laughs> that. That made sense for me. So a personal alarm. So I, I purchased one just recently. So, so yeah, that's going to jar them. There's like there's, that's going to spook them. That's going to make them probably go away, hopefully. Um, then the other suggestion, which I never, never thought about, was a flashlight. Think about it. And I'm going to put these, uh, these uh, uh, suggestions and the links down below so you can look at them. And both of these people have uh, different perspectives. Um, one of them has some good ideas in terms of how to get yourself untangled from, from the attacker. So, so those, if you watch the video enough, you know, you might be able to get that into your uh, brain and you might be able to use those if the situation came, came to happen. Uh, so I think those, those suggestions are okay. Uh, but again, using a weapon could be used against you is, is my bottom line and, and my caution. But y you have to make those decisions on what's going to feel safe for you. Um, so, you know, anything like a gun or a knife or a baton could be taken away from you. Remember, you're the person in the wheelchair and you're, you're at a lower position. And, you know, it just really depends on your strength. And I know my left side, mm -mm. So, so you really have to think this through, and especially, I don't want to be throw another bias in here, but sometimes <laughs> women, if we don't practice our strengths and our arms, you know, we, we could fail in this and, and get ourselves into trouble. But, you know, I, I think the flashlight was just awesome. <laughs> You know, <laughs> because really you blind the other person, they back away and they're not quite sure where you are and that gives you a chance to, to get distance from the, the attacker and perhaps move away. Um, it would have to be, a, uh, uh, the suggestion was a small uh, flashlight, a pretty strong one, so it fits in your hand. Uh, so, you know, uh, that I don't have anything against. He does have other moves that you can do with a small flashlight if the attacker came to, to grab you, you know, what to do with the flashlight and, and the damage that that flashlight could do if you, you know, used it as a hammer against the attacker. Would I do that? I don't know. Just It just really depends on, on the uh, situation. Sorry, there's my <laughs> Alexa reminding me. <laughs> so, um, so you really have to think about all of these. And I think the videos give a better description of what I'm talking about. Uh, and I think you can... Um, so... Why is this video hard for me to make? Well, first of all, I have never been attacked. So, you know, sometimes we, 
We don't plan things until the worst happens, <laughs> number one. Number two, I've never met anyone who has been attacked. So it, it doesn't make me think twice horribly. Um, but I have thought of what ifs. I have thought of the what ifs. And, um, and sometimes I feel concerned. So sometimes, not all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I go through my little trails and my usual, you know, and I do have a video in which I, it, it's called Stranger Danger, and I'll probably post it here. Um, and so, you know, I've thought of that, but I don't talk about weapons at all. But here, the self-defense, you know, is a direct suggestions. It is a direct uh, examples and some direct links in which you can take a look, look at the reasons, um, and make your own decisions. This is really a personal decision for self-defense. Because um, when you're being attacked, it's really hard to call 911, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> But, you know, there are some suggestions for the stranger danger that, that are useful. Um, and I think that, you know, I will link it to this video so you can look at the, the self-defense along with the stranger danger and how to, a lot of it is prevention, folks. It, truly, a lot of it is prevention. So... So you don't run into those situations in which someone is following you from behind, grabs your wheelchair and pushes it for the manual wheelchair users, or someone who's trying to steal your wheelchair, because that's happened uh, for some people. Uh, or they want something for you. They're, they're high on drugs. Or you know, it can be any, any combination of situations in which you become the target. So, so in terms of self-defense, it, it, it's a hard one to talk about, and I don't want to encourage somebody to do something or make a choice that would, you know, be the wrong one for you. So I will leave it at that. I will leave the links down below so you can look at some other ideas and how to combine perhaps the personal alarm and the flashlight with some other techniques um, that will raise your level of, of self-defense and um, keep you a little bit safer when you are traveling alone, when you're camping, when you, you know, when somebody's following you, you know, what kind of things to do. Um, and here for self-defense a lot of times is, you know, the first thing you can do is to not isolate yourself when you're traveling, to avoid alleys and roads that are dark and there's nobody there, there's just you. So you wanna go places where there are other people and even if you have to go around, you know, uh, yes, the alley would be shorter, but, you know, and if you feel like you're being followed or whatever, you know, dart into a store, dart into a building, and surround yourself with other people, uh, and let somebody know, this creep is following me, so if he walks in, this is what he looks like. So that's another way of self-defense, you know, and I've also said for those who um, have handicap uh, placards, and then somebody starts to confront you uh, about that, yelling at you, I've said to you very clearly, do not confront them because you don't know where they're at. So never confront them, just quietly get out of your car um, and lock the door, go into the store and stay there until they go away, you know, or talk to the manager and say, hey, this person is yelling at me because of my handicap <laughs> placard or because I parked there and they want to park there, you know, just ridiculous situations. So, uh, so
So just surround yourself by, uh, f f you know, from other people and, and make sure that they know that you're having trouble. And a lot of people will come forward and help you, protect you, and, and you'll be safe, safer. So, so those are my suggestions. This is the video. I don't want to make it too long because there's the other two links that I want you to, to watch and see what you decide. And um, it's almost like I want to make a poll, but, but I won't. <laughs> it, this is a personal, you know, and, and YouTube also has their rules and regulations about promoting or using or flashing or, you know, so, so we'll, we'll do this in a, in a minimal way, just talk about it and uh, talk about self-defense in a way that it's safe for you, <laughs> whatever decision you make. I hoping, I'm hoping that this video was helpful. Uh, feel free to like the video if you'd like to help. Um, that is like the most helpful thing for me right now and my channel for likes and comments. So that would be awesome. Uh, also to uh, look at uh, any of these videos that pop up here at the bottom. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for coming and spending a few moments with me. Take care.